There's a lot of angst built up in that record and I feel it every time. If we're making a soundtrack to your life, what's a song that always makes you cry? Ooh. Oh no, now I'm thinking about it. <laughs> uh, for me, it's my, it's, um, We've Only Just Begun by the Carpenters, which was my parents' wedding song, but also just like a song that's holds a lot of nostalgia, so. For me, I think it's, maybe this is a basic answer, but the song Ribs by Lord. <gasps> oh my God, that's an incredible answer. It's so good. And every time I hear it, it fills me with this deep sense of nostalgia. And, and I've definitely cried to that song, like a good, mm, a million times. <laughs> Your go-to karaoke song. Lady Marmalade. <laughs> All the parts. Lil' Kim, Maya, Pink, Christina. <laughs> uh, Define Gravity from Wicked. <laughs> Why am I so talking about how it says I love your answers? That's I'm like, amazing. yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is like your, your emo go-to angry song? Ooh, I, I know one right off the bat. There's this song called Fire by Sleeping With Sirens. I was 13 and going so hard in my bedroom, like, it's not a phase. <laughs> but I was so into emo music. That that was probably my um, my theme song for the age of 13. Mine's probably all of Beyonce's Lemonade album. There's a lot of angst built up in that record and I feel it every time. Mm -hmm. And last one, if you could put one of your own songs in a time capsule, just one, to live on forever, what song would you choose? Oh. I know it's hard. <laughs> that is so hard. Wow. Hey, I don't want to choose. I uh, know, what? I, That's not fair. The, the, one, the one that comes to mind is, uh, I, don't, I write a lot of songs about like difficult emotions. Like I, I tend to use music as a form of therapy. And uh, I think if there's one thing I'd want to have remembered, it's uh, I write very few love songs, but there's this one that um, I wrote a while ago that every time I play it, it gives me that same feeling that I get when I listen to Ribs by Lord, mm -hmm. like the deep sense of nostalgia and kind of innocent love. And so I'm, I'm, I would probably say that one because it's a really good encapsulation of everything I want to say and, and how I feel and what I want to do with my music. Mine is, um, like, don't get me wrong, I really, I'm, I'm a fan of some songs, like, especially, like, I have some songs that I love uh, that I've put out, but I think it's probably one that I haven't put out, so I won't say the name of it in case I do, but, um, but yeah, it's just something more vulnerable and something, like, more real, um, mm -hmm. you know, that I've written in the last six months that just feels like Sabrina. Will, will, will we be getting that song at some point, you think? That's always the hope, you know? <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you two so much and congratulations on this movie. It was beautiful. Thank you so much. Because what some people take for granted, others are fighting for. And believe me, I'm a fighter.